Hi friends, we are moving on to a new chapter, which is multiplying decimals. And we're going to start like we have with all the other chapters talking about powers of 10. So we're going to be multiplying decimals with powers of 10. Your title of your notes will be lesson 4.1 powers of 10 multiply decimals. So this is our quick notes. I'm going to give you some examples to model and you'll be able to use those for your practice. So we're going to draw this box here. It's going to have six row or columns. It's going to have four rows. And here are the titles. We have hundred thousands, we have ten, I'm going to put this like this, ten thousands, we have the thousands. We have the hundreds, we have the tens, Oops, I should have started over here, and then we have the ones, so I'm actually going to add here. And we'll put this here, this is millions, so it actually has seven columns. Okay, so if I have a number that is 363. The way I would write it is 363. If I was to multiply that by one, I would have 363 because any number times one is itself. Now, if I was to multiply this by 10, or also known as 10 to the first power, what I would do is move it over one decimal place. So it would actually be 3,630. If I was to do 363 times 100 or 10 to the second power, I would move it over another decimal place. Because 363 times 100 is 36,300. Now, if I was to do 363 times 1,000 or 10 to the third power, I would do it again. Three, six, three, zero, zero, zero. So what I'm doing is each time I multiply by zero, 10, I, 100, 1,000, I'm adding another zero in the place. You can see 1,000, there's three zeros. 100, there's two zeros. 10, there's one zero. And we keep moving further and further to the left. Now, there are no decimals in this problem, but I wanted to show you the pattern prior to moving on to a pattern. So we're going to write something very similar to this, but using decimals. So we're going to have six, and we're going to do the same as before, except I'm going to start in the right box this time. So this will be thousands. This is hundreds. This is the tens place. This is the ones place. This is the decimal point. We have the tenths and the hundredths. And if we were going to go over here, it would be the thousandths. If I was to write 3 and 63 hundredths times 1, it's going to be written like this. 3 and 63 hundredths. 
if I was to multiply it by 10, I would move it over one because I'm moving my decimal place over one. So I would write it like this. If I was to multiply it by 100, I would move it over again. We're actually going to go down one more. Now see if you can guess what it would be, oop, that's 100, if this was 1,000. It would be 3,630. So we're moving it over one each time. So these are the patterns that we're going to be focused on. Not using this chart, I'm going to be showing you how to move the decimal point. So if I have nine thousandths times 10, I am going to multiply it by 10. I'm going to move the decimal point. There's one zero, one place, to the right. That makes it larger. So now my answer is nine hundredths. Now I'm going to use 10 to the third power. This would be a thousand, so I move it three decimal places to the right because that makes it larger. So it would be one, two, three. Now I have to add zeros in the holes, and now I have 3,100. If I had 62 thousandths times 10 to the second, which is 100, I would move it two places, one, two, it would be 6.2. We're gonna do one more. Four and 23 hundredths times 1,000. So I would move it over three places. One, two, three. Add the zero, it is 4,230. So now you are going to have practice in our next video on the next page.